I don't know if you remember I spoke about Janet and Declan who helped us get the house in the first place and Janet's become a good friend of mine and when we met up with them here in Ireland uh, she gave me this special gift so kind of her and this was a year ago I left it here in the house in a safe place because I didn't want to take it away from the house it felt important to leave it here and it's a beautiful rose quartz crystal and not everybody's into crystals or any sort of meaning or significance but you know I just thought it was so beautiful and special in its lovely little silk pouch and when we lost Roy you know it was something that I got out and had it in the caravan I don't know why and we noticed that you know I think all of us were looking at it and uh, saying a secret prayer I saw Sid get hold of it which was really nice I too was holding it and um I don't know, it was when we, we didn't even know if we'd see him again and we were just praying and hoping and lots of people around us were praying too. Strangers were sending out prayers for us. And so of course you'll know how the story ended with Roy returning home. And I just noticed this just now, we've still got it in the caravan on the table and so I'm going to put it back in its pouch and we've made a decision that when the house is finished it will sit in the porch on the windowsill so there'll be a porch at the front of the house that just looks out down the drive down the drive where we were looking hoping that Roy would return and I like to think of it as a kind of homing crystal um, a welcoming homing crystal I think rose quartz represents love so that's what we want more of in our new hidden house hidden hidden house story we want lots of love and laughter and yeah just a new life all together with everyone at home where they should be We're back in the UK now, it's just like a world away from when we're in Ireland, but I've got so much footage that we didn't manage to upload there. You will have seen in that little clip, Noel was talking to Dennis about getting rid of the cow shed, demolishing that next time the lads are in with the diggers. Uh, it's tricky because uh, I know that some of you were upset when we got rid of the oven and I think perhaps equally so some of you won't like the fact that the cow sheds are going. In all honesty, it's not particularly pretty. You know, it's got no historic worth. It's not like nice stone even. It's just breeze block and tin roof. And we won't be keeping cattle, you know. I think it's about making the space work for us in our modern time and allowing the dwelling to evolve with us. And uh, so th on the plans, that will be a double garage. It'll be where we'll have a car and uh, we'll have a workshop. Oh, whoops, no, it isn't a workshop. I didn't say that. No, we won't be using it as a workshop. It's a double garage. You have to be careful what you say. I think to get through planning. I don't think it had been used as a cow shed for a long time. Just more of a dumping ground, really. Nothing much of interest to report back. A few bits of firewood. But other than that, we all just mucked in and got it all shifted and thrown in the skip. This week I've been mostly wearing Jimmy Choo's. Bucky's worth keeping, darling. Banana. 
It's a hole in it. Probably not. There's a hole in my bucket. <laughs> now, it is like living in a in a nursery rhyme or a fairy tale or a folk song. <laughs> a living nightmare, darling. That's what it is. <laughs> This week I shall mostly be barrel bouncing. Well, I'm actually for Ireland's mortality. <laughs> 2024. I think I'll be ready. <laughs> Just putting some more wood on the fire. This is all wood we took out of the cow shed this morning. Um, and we'll, when it just Burns down to embers, we'll put some potatoes in for tea. That's not got a hole in it. Yeah. Or milking pail. How nice that. Actually, well, you know what? That could be. You see, what we're doing is we're choosing so carefully some relics that we can actually keep. But I bet that could I be don't kept. Know how old that is. Doesn't, yeah, but it'll Maybe. clean up. It's probably you know, not that old. No, it's nice, but I don't think it's nice. And that's evaluation. <laughs> I'll just show these. We won't be keeping these, but I am just showing them because these will be full of. Um, these are completely rotten, but these would have been. Sound quality was really poor then because of the wind. These would have been harnesses for pulling, I don't know, for pulling um, a plow maybe or for pulling logs out of the woods or whatever, but they were probably used on probably cattle, I would imagine, with us having cow stores, maybe a pony, but they're too rotten to keep and full of creepy crawlies and things. They'll have to go. This week I will be mostly saving up for some handlebars. <laughs> Just arrived, skip man. <laughs> Just arrived, so I'll put the last bit on there. I'm going to put some of these potatoes in foil and put them in the fire. See how they are in a few hours' time for a kind of supper around the campfire.
I'm not a real farmer, you know. <laughs>